I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members. Thank you. It's continued support like yours that keeps this channel growing. And if you haven't already, please consider joining today. Hello and welcome, I'm Bertha Stormtrooper, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series 90, Transformers Age of Extinction, Galvatron, and I love this toy. Released in the fall of 2022, this is available right now as of the time of this recording. It is a Voyager class figure and retails for approximately $30. So here we have Galvatron. Let's, take, let's start with taking a look at the packaging. So we've got that Studio Series packaging right there. We do have the open window for this guy. Transformers Studio Series 90 and some really cool artwork of Galvatron as we saw him in the Age of Extinction movie. Along the side, we got the same artwork right there. And then over here, we have a close-up of Galvatron. And then along the back, we've got product shots of Galvatron, both in his robot mode and in his vehicle mode. This is from the Hong Kong Pursuit, 32 Steps for Transformation. Now, Galvatron also comes with the Hong Kong Pursuit backdrop. If this is something that you have room for and you want to display on this, this works really, really nicely. There you go. And that's what that would look like right there. Pretty neat if you have the room for it, if it's something that you want to use. Now, taking a closer look at Galvatron here. Well, Age of Extinction for me personally was kind of meh at best. Um, I did like some of the designs that they did, and Galvatron was one of those. Um, this is a figure or a character rather, um, I really liked the design of the robot and I really liked the choice of the truck that they used for this character. And I've been waiting for a good figure on this. They, the, the main line didn't really provide any good figures of this guy. There was like the little one-step changers and whatnot. I checked a couple of those out back then, but nothing that really felt like a good figure. And I was hoping that with Studio Series, we were finally gonna get a good solid Galvatron figure. Um, don't get me wrong, while I do like this figure a lot, I have been having a lot of fun with this. This is a neat figure. I don't think that it's fair to call this a Studio Series figure. I don't feel like this is Studio Series quality. Uh, you'll see some of that here in a moment, but I think this really is up to par with a mainline figure than it is with a Studio Series. Right, but uh, we'll get into more of that here as we go along. So here we have Galvatron in truck mode. It's approximately five and a half inches long and about three inches tall. So, you know, about Voyager sized. And just going all the way around, he is that flat cab Freightliner truck, uh, which is, again, very cool design. I absolutely love the truck, um, the truck design for this guy. Uh, you got pinned on wheels on the back of the truck here. When's the last time that we saw pinned on wheels? Check that out. Now the ones in the front, these are pegged on, but what are you gonna do? But he does roll pretty nicely. Detail wise, the cab is nice. The windows are done in black. The grill is done in black. You got a little bit of silver and blue details here. In the, or uh, yeah, silver and blue details here uh, for the grill and the lights and that kind of thing. You got the sleeper up here on the top. Mostly done in gray. You got some silver striping going along the sides here. Tanks are done in black. Now, when we get to the back of the truck is when things start to fall apart. You got some of the shins right here showing, which is actually not terrible. This little flap right here is actually covering the fists. So, you know, but at least there's something there to cover them up. That's not terrible. And even this, I don't think is too terrible. I could live with that. Right here, this piece right here. This is the robot's feet, and they're just sticking out there. Now, I know that during the live-action movies, there's a, there's several times where they would make just a thing to sit on the back of the truck. So I guess this is the thing that just sits back there. Um, but yeah, again, this is this is why right here, this, and then something else I'm going to show you once we get to the to the robot mode. This is what makes me feel like this. This feels more to me like a mainline figure than a studio series. Right, this the studio series figures when they first started coming out, they kind of went out of their way to really hide these kind of things and make the modes look a little more realistic to what we saw on screen. Um, I don't feel like they really tried with this one again. Don't get me wrong, I like this toy, I just don't feel like it's a studio series quality figure. This just feels like a mainline figure, but there you go, that's pretty much it for the truck. He rolls really, really nicely. For comparison, here he is with the Voyager class Optimus Prime from Age of Extinction. So you can see what the two of them 
look like together. And again, yeah, I think they scale pretty well together. So let's get this guy off to the side and we'll start working on transformation, which is actually pretty neat. So let's start by removing all of the weapons. So right down here, we have, you can either get down here on the bottom. I find it easier to come around the top here. So it's just completely up to you, but we're just gonna untab his handgun, <laughs> which of course now that we're on camera doesn't wanna come off. So you just pull that off. There's a little tab right there and that's tabbed in too. Let me put this back together. That was tabbed into that slot right there, that tab on the front of the gun there. So we'll set that off to the side, come around the bottom of the vehicle right here, and we're gonna untab this panel from the wheels. This panel right here is holding the wheels together and it's holding the wheels straight. So we're just gonna flip this up and out, reach down here, and we're gonna get these little missile pieces out and set that off to the side. So we'll go ahead and leave that panel out there like that for now. Take the gas tanks right here, flip these back, and then take the front wheels and flip them over and fill in where the gas tanks were just then. So same thing on the other side, flip back the gas tanks, flip the wheels back. We'll separate the legs right here. Come to the entire side of the truck here is gonna come off. So there's a little tab right here. We're gonna pull back on this. See if I can show this well. So there we go. So there's a little tab right there that's tabbed into the front of the vehicle. And then there's also a tab here along the side right there. So there's a little, so you see that little kind of like a claw piece right there? And that goes into that little T piece right back there. So we're going to pull this out like that. Same thing on the other side. Pull this panel completely out and just kind of get them up and bring them out at an angle like that just to get them out of the way, separate the legs. So the whole foot part right here, this is going to rotate down. And like that, we're gonna bring this all the way around and over and then straighten out the toes and snap those together. Before we bring the foot up, we're gonna take this wheel, fold it in. That's gonna allow us to bring this foot up. Take this panel right here with the side of the truck, rotate this around and bring it down. That's gonna form his shins right there. And then this panel is gonna wrap around and cover the wheels here and then around the back, that tab that was plugged into the front of the truck is gonna tab into the inside of the wheel. Right there, and there we have one leg. So we'll do that again over here. So we brought the foot down like that on that hinge right there, okay? And then we flipped it, rotate this toe out like this, and then you can see where the two toes are gonna to tab in together. So just tab those in together like that fold the wheel in and then bring the foot up. Rotate the shin around to cover up that wheel well. Bring this panel down to cover up the wheels and then finally tab this panel into the inside of that wheel back there. So he does a pretty good job of hiding all of those wheels right there. The robot does a pretty good job of hiding most of the vehicle mode, which is actually pretty neat. So there we go, that's the bottom of the robot pretty much all done right there. Where do we want to go next? Take this little panel that I showed you here, flip this up. And then what do we want to do next? Uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and start working on these panels right here. So these hinges right here, oh, take these little panels here, flip these up. What am I stuck on? Flip those up and then flip this whole thing kind of up and out of the way. And then use these hinges to bring the arms out all the way like that. So now we're going to untab the top of the sleeper right here, untab it from the top of the truck, bring this back. And then this is on a double hinge here. These are gonna flip all the way back and over like this. This panel is gonna come up. If I have this right, I don't have some, I've got something wrong here. Something's not, oh, there we go. So that's gonna come down all the way. And then this panel is gonna come up and it's gonna tab right there. So this panel that was attached to the bottom of the truck is gonna tab into that slot right there. Turn his head around. The shoulders are going to, there's a little hook right there that's gonna snap into that piece there. And then bring the shoulder, uh, bring the arm down and straighten it. Snap in the shoulder, bring the arm down and straighten it. Close this chest piece up. 
and finally straighten out the legs and the waist piece is gonna snap in right there. Get them all nice and straightened out. And there is Galvatron in his robot mode, standing at about seven inches tall. And again, pretty neat. I like that transformation. It, it, it's, it's kind of a fun transformation. It's really neat to see how everything just kind of twists and turns and flips. And I still don't have something, something not is not right here. <laughs> I'm still doing something wrong because it doesn't feel like this is snapping in place the way it's supposed to. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Of course, I've transformed this thing several times without a problem. I get it in front of the camera and things suddenly don't line up right. I think that is, I think it's right, okay. But again, it's, it's, it's fun to just kind of see the way everything just kind of flips and rotates and spins and everything just kind of gets inside out and most of the vehicle is gone. Check that out, that is really, really neat. Now, um, again, he stands approximately seven inches tall, good size for a Voyager, done mostly in, in gray with a lot of silver details and then you got some blue and copper details here and there. That chest piece, that is completely hollow. There's like nothing in there. That's kind of a weird uh, choice there. So let's talk about that. So you got that hollowness there in the chest. Now there is something that we can do with this. Let me go ahead and show that now. Per the instructions, we can take these little missiles and just tab them right in there and then close that up. So that's something you can do and put the missiles away. Uh, but again, you can just look in through there and you can just see the missiles sitting in there. So that's just hollowness right there. It's it's a weird choice that they didn't put something here to kind of make some kind of an effect right there. I think that's a, that's a weird choice. So you have that hollowness there. And then if you look in the back of the arms, these are just hollow waffle bit arms right there. So again, the whole thing with the feet not being very well hidden in robot mode, and then all of these hollow bits for the robot mode. Um, it just makes it feel more like a regular line figure than a studio series figure, in my opinion. Again, not to say this is a bad figure. I am really enjoying this figure. I just don't think it deserves the studio series moniker, if that makes any sense. Taking a look at the head, very nicely sculpted head. Really like the head sculpt a lot. Very maniacal looking. Uh, as far as the robot mode, it's going to look like uh, people have described the live action, uh, especially in the later movie, robots to look just like a mangled bunch of parts together. I can't argue with that, uh, <laughs> but there he is. I mean, he looks pretty much like he did in the movie. I think it's a very good representation of that character. Articulation wise, the head can go up and down. Uh, it cannot tilt sideways side, but it can turn side to side. Shoulders can go forward and backwards all the way around, in and out, rotation at the bicep. You do have that filler when the shoulder comes up, so that's nice. Rotation at the bicep, double hinge at the elbow, nothing at the wrist. Again, that's just that simple molded piece right there for the forearm, which is unfortunate. Rotation at the waist, legs can go forward that far, back that far, in and out, rotation at the thigh, bend at the knee, and ankle tilts, a lot of ankle tilts. Um, I find that this guy is actually kind of fun to pose. I find him very posable and, and, and like very, uh, I don't know, just has a lot of character. He's just fun to pose and do crazy stuff like this with, and he looks good doing it. Now, let's uh, let's bring in his weapons and accessories. So you saw the little missiles here, and these have a tab that can go into a slot right here on the forearm, and they can go on to either forearm. So you can do that and just mount the missiles right there. He also comes with this cannon which is kind of weird and hollow and it has a handle right there and the way this works is like a lot of these movie figures this is meant to look like the arm kind of transformed into a gun right there so there's that there's a thing that you can do there so let's see if we can get something cool here and come on Let's get him to stand. Bend his knee a little bit. There you go. Check that out. So again, there is not like, there isn't a single pose that I've put this guy in 
that he doesn't look good in. I mean, you can stand him in the weirdest, craziest poses, and he kind of looks good doing it, which is part of the fun of this figure. He he really is a fun little figure. I am very, very pleasantly surprised with this figure. Now, for one more comparison, here he is with the Age of Extinction Voyager Class Prime, which turned out to be about a head taller than Galvatron, and that, I think, is a little unfortunate. Galvatron should have been a little bigger uh, than this guy. But again, we're looking at a figure from several years ago. Over the years, the figures have gotten smaller. Um, so what is considered a Voyager now is would have been a large deluxe back then. So uh, it would have been nice if this guy was just at least a little bit taller than Prime. But they do look good together. That's that's pretty, pretty neat right there. Um, so yeah, fun figure. Found them on the shelf. And I'm like, oh good, let me check this guy out. Because I do like... I did like the design of this this robot and the design of the truck. I just liked the choice of the truck. I, I'm a trucker. I'm an old army trucker. I like trucks, and I like that Freightliner uh, design for this guy. So I just I just wanted to check that out, and I'm glad I did because I'm having fun with this figure. And I think that about does it for the Transformer Studio Series 90 Age of Extinction Galvatron. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.